Hey guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video we're going through the Collingwood vs Essendon game, going through who went well, who didn't have the best game and so yeah, before we get into the video, remember to like and subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you know when I upload and let's get into the recap. So as you can see here for Collingwood, Kane 78, Rose 77, Frederick 77. Uh, Frederick dominated in the ruck and as you can see with Frederick as um, you will see from the last video that I recorded my other game review that things have changed a little bit I tried those trades around can't get to Frederick in this um, review uh, well not in this review necessarily but but, but with this trade set um, as I went for Parker over Benucci because she plays West Coast and I think they have a kind run do GWS let's look at GWS's run and Parker looks like she's just hitting her straps if you look at it, they have West Coast Eagles, St Kilda, Carlton, um, Gold Coast, and Port. So yeah, I think Parker is a really, really good trade and target at this um, this week as they've gotten through their tough games um, this year. It looks like they played three of the top uh, four sides, and they really don't have a tough. Their toughest game is Carlton, or you could say Carlton or Gold Coast Suns are their tough games, and they're sort of relatively tough. I know GWS are bottom of the ladder just because of that um, West Coast win, but they could, they uh, should beat West Coast, in my opinion, this week and return um, above West Coast on the ladder. So if we go back to here, so I think that Parker is definitely a trade-in target over Benucci, who really did struggle. Uh, if we look here, Benucci, 50 at half-time and then really struggled post-half-time. Um, post she had the same scoring output as Davey, so I'm glad that I moved Davey on as she sort of did return back to um, her sort of pre-round um, one predicted scoring, I guess. Um, she, what she was priced at, she's not scoring that 130 odd that she was scoring in. Um, and I think that's something that something that we need to balance a lot because something that I've learned in this is that you can't go for necessarily the top, top girls because I've been burnt um, at least two or three times now going Ghana and Ghana Bowers um, have burnt me. Who else have I gone in the top, top tier that have burnt me? Um, I mean, just looking at this, going for Whitford and Riddell as well. So pretty much all the midfield transfers that I've made have burned me, um, but they were top, top um, tier players to go for. And so I'm sort of not um, necessarily going for the, the best of the best. In I know Parker did score really, really well, but I actually like her run rather than just going for a midfielder like a row bottom or something like that. I mean, Parker is, um, if we look at, if we look at price wise, I'm pretty sure she'll be like one of the top ones. Yeah. So she is, um, she, no, she's down there at, um, I could go for pretty much all of these if you take out forward, actually, there you go. So, I mean, she is one of the top ones, but I mean, she isn't the top, top in, um, hatch hard or row bottom or something like that. Um, but anyway, um, so Roe, Frederick, Benucci, Davey, um, Sheridan, 64, Porter, Campbell, Fowler, Morris, White, Carlson, Casey, none of these girls are really that outstanding. I mean, it wasn't really the best game, to be honest with you. It was sort of spread around really, really well. Um, like I had in my trade targets, um, Press Barkis did really well. 30 touches is really, really good. Six and six as well to back it up. And then to go um, to go neutral on the free kick differential is really good, as well as getting a behind as well to kick up to a 119. Too good is someone that I've just missed this year, blatantly just missed. Like Butters I, um, in the men's competition, I just missed her. I overlooked her countless weeks. Um, and, yeah, she's been an absolute star there. So, yeah, it's been interesting because she didn't have – she doesn't have that necessarily that role um, that I like, but she is just scoring really, really well. Um, if, as we see here, no um, midfield time at all for her. So to see her scoring that well is sort of surprising. But, I mean, she's done it countless weeks, so it's sort of reliable now. But anyway, um, Wales, 80 points, uh, 16. So let's just look at Wales a little bit in here. Go to here, Wales, um, 879k, so a little bit more expensive than the likes of a, um, than the likes of a Schultz. And actually, I just want to see Schultz's numbers because she might just be propelled off like one or two. Uh, she's got 370s and 260s, so she's very, she's pretty consistent. And I think um, Wakefoot is, is a massive risk here, but I need some, <laughs> need some cash in. And if she can do that, she could jump. I mean, she went 157k this week. She could jump another 157, 160k with the 65 or 70, and she plays GWS. So I think that could actually be a, a pretty good play, but we'll see what other, how other people respond to that. 
Um, but yeah, Wales is a is a really good would have been really good to jump on her the last couple of weeks as she's jumped massively. Um, Nan's gone sixty four. She seems like she's just settled in at that sort of sixty to seventy range, which is still a decent score. But the midfielders are just so higher up that you need to be grabbing the better uh, midfielders rather than uh, Nan's going in the sixties. Scott got injured. Kane, Vogue, Bush, Bannister, Radford, Brown. None of these girls. It really sucks how um a lot of the list you have like girls that are so just not valuable at all. Um, like defenders are really not that valuable at all in um except for sort of the the priest. Um, Thomas has a really good role just because she's good in sector on a bad team. Heads is sort of the same category as well. Um, so that sort of locks that up. And then Carney is the distributor on a really good side, so she gets the ball quite a lot. And then also you have Tiny Evans sort of doing that interceptor role. So you have sort of the best interceptors as well as some that take sort of kick outs really do propel your team up um, with the back line. It's not really about the, the ones that sort of just play possession-based football because that doesn't really happen as much in the women's game. Um, and then really that's pretty much it for this one. A very, very short recap as I want to get these ones out to you and there wasn't really much to talk about and given that it's a Tuesday and this game I think might have even happened. This game happened on a Saturday. That's three days ago. I don't remember much as well as I wasn't actually, didn't get to catch any of this game. So just looking basically at the stats here and that's what I see. So anyway, get this uh, video out to you guys. But yeah, that's the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.